to the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Extra point attempt to come here. The well, Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now the Bucs offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. Brady will look to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He'll drop to throw. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Vita Vea breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They bring their punter out there now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And take it right at the 35. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. He's going to try and go deep again. This is caught inside the 15. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well, there's... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And go in the books is a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Looking to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And that'll bring up fourth down 